Hey, everybody. It's movie time with Ryan J. How's it going, Arrow? Doing good, man. What you been up to? Oh, just way too much screening time, honestly. <laughs> really? Now tell me about it. What do you got? Five, six of them here today? Five of them today. Five, and that's not even including any of the ones that were like opening in theaters, really. I, it's so much screening, so much happening. It's like one of those weeks where they just threw so much out. Usually studios are very attentive to the release schedule mm -hmm. and try not to compete. Uh, nothing here is is like major, major like blockbuster. There's no Spider-Man No Way Home this weekend or the Batman this weekend, but there are some really great TV series and some great things heading. I think the bigger films are actually on the streaming services, so I chose those this weekend. Well, I'll tell you what, I've really relied on your streaming things because I've, I've became a big binge watcher during the COVID-19 and so now, I mean, that's how I, I mean, sure, I, I, I still go to the theater now, but when it comes to a binge watch i i think that's that's going to be the the sexiness of being at home watching uh things like that is that you you can't binge watch in a movie theater but boy at home oh my god i know and especially when it's great and we've learned that you know the streaming services can rival the best of the movie studios i mean look at netflix and apple tv plus like basically sleep sweeping awards season you know yeah, just amazing i remember when hbo used to be the big old monster now it's those other people it's so true <laughs> where would you like to start today sir how about with We Crash? Have you heard of it? No. What is it? Well, it's a new TV series on Apple TV+. Plus. It's a limited series, eight episodes. The first three appear today on Apple TV+. Plus. It's based on the true story of Adam Newman and his wife, Rebecca Paltrow Newman. She was Gwyneth Paltrow's cousin in real life. And they're portrayed in the, in the TV series by... Oscar winners Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway. Oh, you won me over. You won me over. Yes. They are so good in this show. So good. So, you know, in order to review, I'm like, I'm going to watch the first three episodes, but Apple TV uh, supplied us with the whole series, uh, the whole season. So I just, I couldn't stop. I literally, the minute I started, I sat there for eight hours. Mm. Well, who is this, this Adam Newman? So okay, so his story is, this is the true story where he and another guy created this company called WeWork, which was basically um, like this trendy office space that was like people you could just rent office space, rent a desk somewhere and have like a community experience type thing. And it turns out that he and his wife were both so toxic and insane and crazy to work for and they depict all of that it really is insane uh but somehow jared and Anne find a way to make them likable and watchable They're just so freaking cool and then um so we see the rise and fall and at one point they bring this company up to a valuation of 47 billion dollars and just God. watching how uh charismatic adam newman is and how and the same with rebecca and how she inspires him and how nutty they are but they're able to convince the wealthiest bankers in the world because they you know they, they go outside of they they build out internationally too uh to invest in them and then it turns out that they are so out of control that they can't cross the finish line that way and right before they were about to go public the whole thing crashes is all true um and then uh they get kicked out and then how they recover from that and it is just fascinating and again i was just going to watch the first three episodes i watched the first three and i sat there for another five hours i just could not <laughs> stop so this is streaming starting today on apple tv plus it's called we crashed and it's fantastic wow i i i, I swear that we work there, there there's a building uptown that has that on it that that they actually had a, a an outlet here in Charlotte. In fact, I'm googling oh, yeah, it right the, now. They're, and, yeah, they, yeah, the here. building's still there. Yeah, so they were eventually kicked out of the company, and I think they got a settlement. They they, they left and got like two billion to leave or something, oh, so they're my fine, God. right? But the, yeah, and the company is still is still doing quite well. Wow. So that that just gives me a whole new meaning of that building and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. The show is great. There are also documentaries out there. You can see plenty about it. I mean, I was I was going back and forth between the, the episodes, like reading what I could on Wikipedia, yeah. watching clips on YouTube, just because I was I got so into it for like that eight hour chunk, you know. What is it about this Jared Leto? I mean, is, is it I, he's more than just a rock star? He's well, more than he's just method. an actor. I mean, he's like, he's, wow. Yeah, he's very method and, and he chooses only good roles. So everything he chooses, I think you can trust in. I feel like Anne Hathaway, too, relatively yep. chooses really great work. And she's she's somewhat of a chameleon, too. I mean, she she's really great. And what they do, she's not a method actor the way that he is, but she's done some interviews recently where she's talked about like she had to call him adam on set the entire time everyone had to call him adam he kept his uh, accent because adam newman the man the real life man he's playing is israeli so he had the accent going really? even when they weren't rolling the whole time like he stays in character like that whole method thing so she talked about that and he's just great wow so now uh, be, being that i'm, I'm a long-haired guy d does he get to have long hair in this or they chop it 
Oh, it's it's like shoulder length. Okay, that's well. At least he's still got the hair because that's his signature. Exactly. Absolutely. So, what is Deep Water? This sounds like something very kind of sci-fi. Deep Water is a movie. It's not sci-fi, but what's really cool about Deep Water is it is directed by Adrian Lin, who. This is his first film in 20 years, and he has previously done movies like Fatal Attraction, oh, Indecent wow. Proposal, Unfaithful, and then has taken a 20-year break, and now it's his first movie since then, and it's another one of those dangerous love stories. This one's about a, um, it's a dramatic thriller about an open marriage, and it stars Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas, <laughs> and this is the movie that they met and like worked and were dating on when they made. So basically, it was a dangerous storm in real life. <laughs> yeah, they were dating in real life, exactly. It also co-stars Jacob Elordi, the hot guy from uh, Euphoria, and you've got Tracy Letts in there. And they they build really great complex characters. It's suspenseful. It's smart. It's layered. Uh, you're wondering like who's potentially evil. I was going crazy because I'm like, we all understand the concept of an open relationship or an open marriage, fine. But it's like you'd think. I mean, you know, if you're going to be rational about it, if two people agree to it, live and let live, they've got their what you know whatever. But these people are obviously just functional at it and the whole time I'm like why don't you guys just talk to each other right. can you work something out why are you doing the work the open marriage if it's not working for you why am I feeling so much suspense why is it like why am I on the edge of my seat watching this <laughs> you guys have a conversation I wanted to be their marriage counselor watching this movie so badly um, I had so many questions I didn't get the answers necessarily to the questions that I had but they do give you other answers so it is fulfilling I didn't love the ending but still it's Ben Affleck and Anna Armas and it's this you know the director of Fatal Attraction and this dangerous love story stream it on Hulu starting today oh excellent see I'm putting that in my little notes and all that kind of stuff so windfall what is this one all about windfalls on netflix it's by director writer charlie mcdowell who did the one that i love back in 2014 i know that one yeah yeah Yeah, and that's a great movie that's weird very weird but good um this one is not as good as a follow-up it's completely ridiculous and absurd it's it starts off like it's a very wannabe alfred hitchcock quentin tarantino vibe kind of movie and then is nothing like that so i I, maybe it sets up your expectation early on and then fails stars jason siegel who also did uh, came up with a story and produced, and Lily Collins, Jesse Plemons, current Oscar nominee for The Power of the Dog, real life husband mm. to Kirsten Dunst. Um, and it made me feel like if Woody Allen were ever to attempt doing a horror film and failed, this is what it would be like. <laughs> um, so it's just reluctantly funny and odd. Skip it. Skip Windfall on Netflix. Oh, that's sad to hear because I like Jason a lot. Oh, yeah, me too. Wow. I mean, check it out. Judge for yourself. I, I didn't like it. And so, now, when speaking of Netflix, not to take us off the line here, but, I mean, they announced this past week that, uh, you, you know, you, you can't be passing out that password anymore. I mean, this, this is this is really kind of late getting into the game on that, isn't it? I guess. I mean, I feel like it's going to be a game. They're going to either get a lot more money or some people are just going to, like, wait a few years and be like, I'm not going to watch until they break down or, you know, sign up here and there for a month here or there to watch something. Uh, that's just what it is. Like, they're going to they're gonna lose viewership, but also they'll probably increase some money. So some people will increase subscribers. So it's more important, like how much money they make in terms of subscribers or how many people are actually viewing. I guess if, it, if everybody's just subscribing, does it matter if anybody streams or watches anything they make? Is, if it, is it about that? Is it about the money they're making from the subscribers or is it about the actual streams? Because like, let's say you own, you own one Netflix account and you've got like your mom and dad with one, your neighbor with one, a friend with one, a cousin with one, and they're all watching the same show. That counts as like five or six streams you know, views of one show. Yeah. Like, so I don't know how they're judging. I mean, it's, it's a very interesting thing. And, you know, in some ways they're right to do so because, you know, it's like you can't, you can't buy one movie ticket and get eight people in, you know? Right. Well, this is where it affects me is that, you know, I have Netflix in my living room, in my master bedroom, and I have it in my RV. And it's like, wait, I'm still the same person. I should be able to well, use that, it wherever no, I it want. It won't affect you that way. Okay. You can, you can have it. Yeah. You can still have as many devices on your own account. It's just saying you probably can't set up profiles for multiple people. Oh, okay. See, that's why I talk to you, dude. You, you do the research. Uh-huh. I, I, I just give it to you and you say, you know, you're yeah, better like than my Google. Netflix account, you know, like I, my mom and dad have an account like they have a profile still like I give them my username and password and they just oh. click on their mom and dad profile and they have their own watch list and they can have their own pre you know history of what they watch mine is different i've got preview content as a critic so like they can't watch mine mine's password protected if they click on the profile they can't get into mine you know because i have a critic profile but it's just interesting that way wow boy you just break it down don't you into files i try <laughs> what is master Master is a new movie on it's rated R on Prime Video. It stars uh, Regina Hall, who I love. There was so much promise here. It is a very wannabe Jordan Peele horror movie because it's like a socially conscious um, 
horror film and i loved the way i remember like a quarter of the way into this movie i thought oh my god this might be one of my favorite movies of the year it's regina hall it takes place on this campus uh college campus on the east coast and there's like racial overtones and controversy here and implications and uh there's like a witch that had died that might be mm. haunting students still and i was very into it it becomes such a mess of a movie uh although the themes are good it's a totally missed opportunity the script and the editing it was horrible i was so disappointed in how bad it was as a movie how bad it oh. becomes that after they skip it oh <laughs> skip it <laughs> yes yeah, skip it skip That's, master we need to market that man we need to get some merchandise it has t-shirts and hats and stuff skip it <laughs> exactly. skip it. <laughs> all right now minx now this sounds like some sort of a drama like a like a james bond dun 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 yeah this one's really good this is like one of the raciest shows i mean i have to be i'm gonna be totally transparent here the reason i checked out minx is because uh it's about a woman who in the 70s it's a period tv series on hbo max and she creates a feminist magazine but the only person who will buy it is like a pornographer basically who does you know like naked ma nude magazines yeah. and she reluctantly joins the forces and they end up creating the first nude magazine of you know nude men for women oh, wow. and i saw a preview for it and it featured so much male nudity that i was like oh fine i'll watch it you know <laughs> just like, i was like i want to sell the naked people right <laughs> and then like i watched it at arrow i'm not even exaggerating and i even did the research this has the most male nudity of any entertainment uh, ever produced. Oh my God. So yeah, and it's, it's it, but in spite of that, in spite of that might be a draw sex sells this just in, um, it's still a really well-written, very funny, very good show. And I can't wait to see the rest of it. I've seen the first five episodes. I think the first two are available now on HBO Max, but the themes of like, the, she's at war with herself. It's not based on a true story, but it's loosely inspired by certain things. Um, but she's she's you know so at war with herself as a feminist wanting to come out with this magazine for women and to further women's rights at the time, but then is frustrated that she can only get it published by and has mm -hmm. to make compromises by doing a male centerfold and that kind of thing. And it is hilarious and it's well written and I'm so into it. And so I'm going to keep watching. It's really great. It's it's Minx streaming on HBO Max. And again, more even I think I think see. Season one features more than like a hundred full frontal males. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So, so do you think that women who bought the magazine would, you know, if they, if they got caught looking at it, they would say, "I was just reading the articles." That's it. I was just reading the articles. <laughs> No, those are only men. Women are like, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Women, I think, are a little bit more honest with each other. They're like, hey, check it out. <laughs> so what else is going on on RyanJReviews.com? Uh, that's it. I'll have my full reviews with uh, clips of these later today. Very cool. And so now, now, do you ever take the, the, the TV show? Because I always want people to see the visual of you doing this, too, because you're very passionate about selling movies. I try, yeah, whenever I can. I absolutely do. So I, I'm going to have to run to go get ready for that right now. But we will uh, catch up more next week for sure. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to hear some of the movies that you've seen recently, too. Looking forward to it because we're headed into, I think, which is going to be a very good summer movie. Absolutely. All right, man. You be brilliant. Go put that makeup on. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Arrow.